Kaya, I'm Rebecca Rickard. I'm a Valadong Wadjuk woman from the Noongar Nation. I'm the co-founder of Deadly Denim. Deadly Denim is a fashion label that showcases First Nation artists on recycled denim. The spark for creating Deadly Denim came when I was having a pause in my studies and I was looking for something creative to do. I had a truck that I had renovated into a clothing shop selling vintage clothing and I'd been watching in the media and social media a big surge of Indigenous designers and amazing textiles sharing culture and stories and one day I had the idea of perhaps putting the two together, recycled clothing and artwork. I started creating the products for Deadly Denim through just sourcing a very limited amount of denim jackets from an op shop. So I reached out to two art centres in the Territory and let them know what I was doing and purchased directly online from their websites and I did a, a small collection of 20 jackets. My first approach to running the business was I enrolled in a one week course at Curtin University, the Ignition for Entrepreneurs. That course was a good building blocks of just learning how to start a business. From there I just listened to podcasts and just got going. And for me it was really important to start slowly. I didn't have a lot of money, I wasn't working at the time, I was a student, so I just slowly built it up. So my essential tools for the business are definitely my phone. I work a lot out and about off my phone. My laptop I work a lot from. So I also do a lot of writing down in notepads if I have an idea or a design concept or often I listen to podcasts when I'm doing chores or out and about and if I hear something that someone shared, particularly women in business podcasts, I'll write things down in my notebooks. What's next? Well, I've been loving doing workshops in the community, people making their own deadly denim jackets for taking on the textiles. That's something that I'm really happy to keep growing and building. Loving collaborating with other artists. I think my advice for other businesses starting out is it's going to be varied. Some people want to grow a business big, some people want to keep it small. So I think whatever works for you is great. There's no right or wrong with business. The opportunities that I've had have come from a concept and an idea and then it's just hustle and hard work around that concept. Mm -hmm.